Hello people to Web and YouTube, it's DPK here, welcome to Structus. Anyway guys, today's game is basically an exploratory game, and as you know with these kind of games that are rather really long, but I don't really have much time to do this today, so I'm just gonna play it as long as I can, and hopefully we'll get somewhere cool, but yeah, as I believe this is, I believe it's only, um an exploratory game i believe there's no story at all in this but i might be proven wrong i don't really know there wasn't much to like um describe the game in the description of this before i downloaded it but yeah anyway i guess i'm supposed to hit play what i just hit play what was that crap what okay i'm, I'm confused this is like a puzzle thing play Okay, maybe there actually isn't a game here. What the hell is going on? Can I play already? Quit. It better not just quit. Okay, thank you. My god. Don't do that, developer. I hate that crap. Never do that, okay? Like, never make an option that looks like quit so that you have to hit quit to play. God, I was about to have a freaking heart attack there. I was like, I'm not going to restart this if that happened. But yeah, thankfully the game didn't quit, but I have no idea on where the hell we're at right now. It looks like we're in some kind of, um, dome, maybe, from like Halo 3, the little bubble shield. I don't know, but you know what? This looks gorgeous. Like, for a nice little Unity game, even though the main menu resolution was kind of... Yeah, this actually looks pretty damn good once you're in the game. I mean, like, I don't know about the grass, but the overall, like, architecture and the buildings and everything else looks freaking fantastic. Like, honestly, if I didn't have such a short amount of time to play this tonight, I'd play this for goddamn, um, probably hours straight just to look at everything. But you know what? It looks like we have to find the central hub, maybe. Like, the actual area we're supposed to go to. Because right now, it looks like we can't do anything here. It looks like everything's sealed off unless we find the beginning area. I don't know. I didn't actually think I could jump up this high. Maybe I have to climb something in order to get my bearings. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out, guys. But for the most part, I am sorry that I don't have enough time to play this very long today. So, yeah, with that said, just sit back, relax, and we'll see where the hell we get to in this game. Well, okay, I finally found my way inside this goddamn thing, and with all honesty, I don't know if I'm supposed to be here or what, but I gotta say, this looks even more gorgeous inside this building than it did on the outside of the building. Like, I did not expect there to be trees growing on the wall and stuff, but I gotta say, that is actually really cool, but... Yeah, is this building actually floating on the ground right now? I thought we were leveled to the ground, what's going on? Oh, I thought maybe we were flying, but I guess not. Anyway, um, yeah, the building is actually floating. I'm pretty sure that's not what we're supposed to be looking at, but you know what? Anyway, I think we have to get to the top of this tower, because so far, everything else is miles away, and this is the only thing I've seen that has an opening in it. So maybe once we get in here, we can unlock some stuff. I don't really know, but god damn, my character is a bouncy bastard. It's like I jump, just to have him jump again extra higher, you know what I mean? Come on, do it. You can do it. You did it once before, please. Please. There we go. Oh, come on. Maybe I have to do a running start jump? Running start jump. God, I can't talk tonight. I'm sorry. I'm just not feeling too great, alright? Anyway, there we go. We're finally back inside. But now, here comes the real question. How in the hell do we climb this? Is it like a, a vertigo puzzle, maybe? I actually have to, like, look up and eventually my guy's gonna, like, stick to the wall and climb up, you know, as if it's normal? I don't really know, but that would be cool, wouldn't it? Just imagine, um, like, entering a building, seeing everything sideways in the building, having to walk up to it just to do, like, this to look up in order to walk up the wall. That'd be so cool in my mind. I mean, I'm pretty sure games have done it, but like in a game like with just visuals alone, I think that'd be cool, you know what I mean? Like even if it wasn't a gameplay mechanic. But yeah, anyway, did I fall really? I finally figured out a way to get up there maybe, and I gotta be careful not to get pulled into that. If I get sucked out again, I will be pissed. 
Oh wow, I don't know how I got way up here, but damn, I'm super high up right now. Like, geez, this is a game that needs Oculus Rift support, you know? Well, or HTC Vive support, you know? Some kind of VR support, because this game looks really, um, freaking sweet. Like, I could actually... I can actually feel it right now. If this was in VR, I'd be throwing up, I think. But you know what? I think, um... I may have actually gotten as high up on this tower as I can. Because for the most part, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it over here. And if I do, I don't know where to go from there. Like, maybe there's something else over here or up here. God, they really hide the jumps. Like, this game would be ten times more easier if you could see where you're jumping to, you know? But yeah, anyway, I need to find a good grip on this or I'm gonna die. Now where do I go, though? That's the thing. Like, you get up all this way, but it's like, do I go outside again? Like, where where on earth is the way up, you know? Well, damn it, guys. I fell off the goddamn tower. I almost had it, too. I figured out what the blue things were for. They're actually so you can go through them, and then you get stopped on the other side. Kind of like the energy shields and, um... Halo, and god damn, I'm referencing that game a lot tonight, I think, aren't I? I don't know, this is either the second time I said it or the first, I don't really know. But for the most part, it's like those energy shields, you have to like go through them, then you land on them, I think. I didn't realize you could do that, but the moment I realized I was actually standing on the ledge of the, the glowing thing, I walked a little too far forward and fell. Which, there was no recovering from, I mean, I don't have any kind of ability to, you know... Hover, so I was basically screwed the moment I fell, which was kind of dumb. But yeah, guys, if there was one criticism for this game right now, I gotta say it's that beginning thing where it said play or quit, and you had to hit quit to actually play. And the other criticism would be this, like, why are textures overlapping each other? I mean, I can't tell if that's actually a part of this world that we're in, or if that was just lazy editing by the editor, no offense. But, like, there's a lot of that going on, like, the green overshield-looking stuff, um, breaking past, th or going through the walls, I should say. But, you know what? Yeah, I think I had the right idea going on earlier when I said about, um, going in that tower to unlock at the doors here, because so far, this whole thing's been just closed off. Like, I don't know where it wants me to go. What the hell? Wait a minute, I think I can actually wall run, guys. So freaking sweet, but I don't know how to do it. Yeah, see, I just did it. It's like if you ram yourself into the wall, immediately start sprinting the other way. It's like the momentum from your character just launches you upwards or against the wall. So if you do that right, I think I could get in there without even needing to shut off the energy shields, you know? Let's see, can I get in from here? Actually, I could have just jumped that. There was no even reason to, like, wall run that. But yeah, that's so weird. There's, like, I don't understand the shield's purpose then. I mean, if there's always a way in, then why does it seem like there's a way to shut the shields off, you know? I mean, I haven't seen any switches or anything. It's just, like, my general assumption from that one building, you know? It seemed like you had to get there in order to progress. But yeah, this is so bizarre, like, who even built all this and why is it even here? Like, are we stuck inside a machine or, like, I'm just trying to piece together this world, you know? It's so weird. But yeah, what is that? Shifter. Shifter! Okay, I don't know what that even means. Am I supposed to click it? Oh, P is for options. I, I read that it said push P to do something, but nope, that ain't what you gotta do. Is it the mouse button? Nope, not that either. Okay, then. Shifter it is, I guess. I don't know what any of that means. Maybe that's just the name of the developer that made it? I don't really know, guys, but goddamn, this is messing with my brain. <laughs> oh, whoa, what? Okay, so I could have entered the green shield this whole time? Okay then, um... That's another thing I think the developer should fix. If you're not gonna make the green shield work both ways, then... Like, signify or identify which, um, side you can go through, you know? Kind of like them things I was talking about in Halo 3. Or whichever Halo had, the, like, the energy doors and you can only enter one side and leave from one side, you know? 
like maybe color the other side of that thing different so you can tell what way you're supposed to go in and not go out but yeah anyway like I guess there's just no point like I guess it really is just an exploration game I thought for a minute there was like some kind of hidden hidden yeah hidden secrets to this game you know like I say, it's really cool, even if there's nothing really going on in it. And for the most part, guys, I think I'm gonna leave this off here. Like, I think I may have actually explored most of the game enough. And if not, I'll prob probably explore it more in my free time. But for now, I'm all out of time. So you know what? I'm gonna leave this off here. But if you guys want to see more of this, let me know. And I'll gladly get back to this, alright? But yeah, like, I, like what I was saying, I'm gonna leave this off here. DTBK signing off. Peace. Well guys, I spent a whole day and night cycle trying to figure out what the hell I need to do in this game, and so far, step by step how to do this thing is super easy. Now, for the most part, all you gotta do is...